One of the most sought after wilderness destinations in the world, the Okavango Delta, gives entrance to the spectacle of wild Africa, such as dreams are made of. The heart-stopping excitement of big game viewing, the supreme tranquility and serenity of an untouched delta, and evocative scenes of extraordinary natural beauty. A journey to the Okavango Delta, deep into Africa's untouched interior, is like no other. Moving from wetland to dryland, traversing the meandering palm and papyrus fingered waterways, passing palm fingered islands and thick woodland, rest pleasant with lush vegetation and rich in wildlife, reveals the many facets of this unique ecosystem, the largest intact inland delta in the world. The Okavango Delta is situated deep within the Kalahari Basin and is often referred to as the jewel of the Kalahari. That the Okavango exists at all, deep within its thirstland, seems remarkable. Shaped like a fan, the delta is fed by the Okavango River, the third largest in southern Africa. Swollen with floodwaters from the summer rains, the Okavango River travels from the Angolan highlands, crosses into Botswana at Muhembo in the Caprivi, then later spills over the vast fan-shaped delta. The timing of the floods is uncanny. Just as the waters from Botswana summer rains disappear, so the flood waters begin their journey, 1,300 kilometers, of which is through Kalahari sands, revitalizing a vast and remarkably diverse ecosystem of plant and animal life. The water's flow, distribution, and drainage patterns are continually changing, principally due to tectonic activity underground. As an extension of Africa's Great Rift Valley, the Okavango is set within a geographically unstable area of faults and regularly experiences land movements, tremors and minor quakes. Many of the smaller islands are grandiose termitaria built by fungus growing termites, one of the 400 termite species in Africa, whose fantastic structures are a source of refuge and food for many animals. The delta region of the Okavango can vary in size from 15,000 square kilometers during the drier periods to a staggering 22,000 square kilometers during wetter periods. Its dominant plant species are reeds, mokolani palms, acacia, sycamore fig, sausage trees, rain trees, and African mangosteen. At the delta's lower reaches, the perennial swamps give way to seasonal swamps and flooded grasslands. To the southeast, the third vegetation region becomes evident as it changes to true dry land. There are three major land masses here, the Matsebi Ridge, Chiefs Island, and the Morimbi Tongue. Here, the vegetation is predominantly mopani, acacia, scrub bush, and the land is dotted with pans. It is to this region that large numbers of mammals retreat during the dry winter months. Major tourist attractions in the delta and the dryland areas are game viewing, birding, and boating, often in the traditional Mokoro. The diversity and numbers of animals and birds can be staggering. A recent overview of the Okavango records 122 species of mammals, 71 species of fish, 444 species of birds, 64 species of reptiles, and 1,300 species of flowering plants. The Okavango is a proposed World Heritage Site. Its long-term conservation is ensured through government policy and regulations. Immerse yourself in Botswana. <laughs>